Hey guys, I'm watching Vida Lala TV. And normally I would like to demonstrate the universal bullet seating die by Frankfurt Arsenal in this video. But I'm not finished with uh, the whole video, so I thought I can share some something I did uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but before I start, I would like to give a big shout out to Elvis Emil, to Andy 79Z28 and David Hu, who helped me um, sharing their knowledge. Today I would like to talk about zinc bullets, casting zinc bullets. I can't show you the casting process here on YouTube, but on the Reloaders Network. So here on YouTube it's like a short preview on the Reloaders Network. You can find the video about casting those zinc bullets. And because of Elvis Ammo, ND79, Z28 and David Hu, I saved a lot of money. Uh, normally my plan was to cast zinc bullets with a Lyman Big Dipper, uh, with some um, uh, Lee molds. And those three share their knowledge and they all told me uh, don't use the Lyman Big Dipper. Uh, zinc will eat this melting pot very fast and zinc will uh, eat your Lee molds as well. So. I spent another couple uh, euros um, to, to buy an old Lyman melting pot. This one comes with a big iron melting pot, so this withstands the zinc very good. Um, further, I use an RCBS mold. Um, with this RCBS mold you can cast 147 grain lead bullets. Uh, we think those bullets weighed around about 93 grain, so very light. Um, next I will start with um, some hand loads. I will check if those zinc bullets will be accurate out of my uh, pistols. But uh, this will take a little bit of time because all shooting ranges are close here in Germany. So yeah, I can't wait to do about I have to. Um, so I guess I will cast some hmm, rifle bullets next. So I'm prepped when the shooting range is open again. From what I can tell you now is that casting zinc bullets is no magic. If the mold is hot and the zinc is hot enough, you can cast zinc bullets like you are used to uh, casting lead bullets. I used to water cringe those zinc bullets, not because to harden them, I use it because of shrinking. So resizing is not that hard later. Um, but I will talk about this and other things in the complete video, which is uh, available at the Reloaders Network, uh, not here on YouTube. This would be a violation of their community rules. and I don't want to risk and strike against my channel. Okay, so you know I'm at the zinc bullet business now. I'm totally interesting, interested in, in this and you will see a little bit more later or yeah, a little bit more in the other videos following in the next month. Like I told you before, a big thank you to Elvis Ammo, to Andy 79 z 28 and David Hu. And I hope you are interested in, in this knowledge about zinc bullets like I am. And I hope you enjoy these videos like I enjoy uh, casting those bullets and making them. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little preview, if you will. Um, thumb up if so um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and thank you very much for taking the time watching my video hope i see you next at vidalada tv